Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today, I'll show you how to use Firebase for email and Google Auth in Flutter. But before we begin, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for more amazing content. Let's dive right in. I have already created a Flutter login and sign up UI in my previous video. Now go to your project in the Firebase console. Click on the Authentication section and click on Get Started. Go to Sign in Methods and enable Email Password Provider. I have already configured my project for Flutter. Take a look at my Flutter push notification video for that. Head over to the documentation for authentication for Flutter Firebase and add the Firebase auth package using the Flutter pub add command. Now copy the method of auth state change from documentation, add it to the main.dart file. Now go to the pages folder and create a new file by the name home.dart. This will be the page that app will be redirected after authentication. In the home.dart file, add a scaffold widget. Copy and paste the app bar from the login page, changing the title to Home. In the body section, create a column widget. Within the children array, copy the elevated button code from the login page and paste it here. Set the main axis alignment and cross axis alignment to center. In the main Dart file, create a Boolean variable named user to keep track of the authentication state. Set it to false if the authenticated user is null and true if the authenticated user has some value in it. Rename the variable to userauth to avoid conflicts. Navigate to the Firebase console and create a real-time database if you haven't done so already. Make sure to set it to test mode. This database will be used to store the authentication user data. Next, install the Firebase database package in your Flutter app by following the instructions provided in the documentation. In the documentation for password authentication, you'll find the code to create a new user. You've already created a function for this, so let's integrate it into the app. Additionally, there's a function to store the data using the user's child with the user UID taken from the auth user data. We'll use this to save user information in the Firebase real-time database. Let's implement these functions in the app. Now let's create a text edit controller to get values from text fields. Now add the controllers in text field using the controller option in the text field. To get the values from the text edit controller, go to your elevated button in register.dart and declare the value using text edit controller text. Next, let's replace the text fields with text form fields to incorporate validators for error handling. We'll add a return statement to ensure that the username, email, and password fields are not null or empty. Additionally, for the confirm password field, we'll include an extra check to ensure that its value matches the password.
Now, let's wrap the body section with a form widget to handle errors more effectively. We'll create a global key of type global key to manage the form state. Then, we'll add this form key to the key parameter of the form widget. In the elevated button widget of the file, incorporate a condition to validate the form using form current state validate. This ensures that the form fields are validated before proceeding with the sign up function. Now, save the changes and run the app. You'll notice that the validation is working perfectly fine. Now, exit the app. To enable the sign up function with Firebase, you need to add permission in the Android Manifest.xml file. Navigate to Android Chord App, SRC, Main. Click on Android Manifest.xml and add this line Android.uses clear text traffic, chuck true. Save the changes. Restart the app. Go to the register page and add navigator.push for home page in the elevated button for now. We will add this in the function after Google Auth is implemented. Save it and reload the app. As you can see, everything is working perfectly. You can find the user in the authenticated users section and the database in the Firebase console. Now let's add the sign out functionality to allow users to sign out from the app. Go to the home page and in the on pressed function of the elevated button, add the command firebaseauth.instance.signout. Then use navigator.push to navigate back to the login page. With this, the sign up with email functionality is complete. Great. Let's proceed with implementing the login functionality with email. Go to the Firebase documentation and copy the code snippet for signing in with email and password. Since I already have a component for the login page, paste this code snippet into the login.dart file. Make sure to create text editing controllers and validators for the email and password fields and add them to the respective text form fields in the form. Follow the same procedure as you did for register.dart, but this time, wrap the column with a form widget instead of the entire list view. Let's try to log in with the same user with which we have signed in. As you can see, it's working perfectly fine. Now let's move on to Google Auth, navigate to Documentation, and then the Social Authentication section. The first thing you need to do is add the Google Sign-In package to the Flutter app. Install the package. The next thing is to generate SHA-1 and SHA-256 fingerprint. For that, in terminal, go inside the Android folder, then type the command gradlu signing report. It will generate the both fingerprint. After generating the SHA-1 and SHA-256 fingerprints, we need to configure our Firebase project to accept Google sign-in.
Once you've obtained the SA-1 and SA-256 fingerprints, go to your Firebase project settings in the Firebase console. Here, you'll find a field to input your SA-1 fingerprint. Paste the SA-1 fingerprint you obtained earlier into this field. You can also add the SA-256 fingerprint if required. After adding the fingerprints, go to the Authentication tab in the Firebase console. Click on the Sign In Method tab and enable the Google provider. These steps will configure your Firebase project to accept Google sign ins. After obtaining the new JSON file containing your updated Firebase configuration, replace the existing Google Services JSON file in your Flutter project's Android.app directory with this new file. Next, navigate to the documentation for Google Sign-In in Firebase and copy the provided code snippet passed to this code into the login.dart. Within the login.dart file, locate the icon button corresponding to Google Sign-In. Add a function call to the Google Sign-In method within the on-pressed event handler of this button. Additionally, use the navigator push function to redirect the user to the home page after a successful sign-in. Save your changes and reload the app. You can then test the Google sign-in functionality by clicking on the Google icon button. If you encounter a missing plugin exception error, exit the app, run the flutter clean command, and then rerun the app. Now, as you can observe, the Google sign-in functionality is operational. You can also verify the sign-in activity on the Firebase console. Next, let's proceed to implement the Google sign-out functionality. Start by creating a variable of type Google sign-in. Utilize this variable within the sign-out function. Additionally, pass the context parameter in this function to facilitate navigation. Subsequently, update all occurrences of the navigator.push functions on buttons by incorporating the signout function. Ensure to pass the context with the type build context to enable seamless navigation. That's all for today. Thanks for watching. If you found this tutorial helpful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Stay tuned for more exciting content. Happy coding!